Yo, oh, yo, yo! It's your boy Golden J! Let's go, baby! What's up, guys? This is Golden J. How's it going? In today's video, we're gonna be doing a glitch. A very special glitch. Ain't that right, Dion? Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, baby! <laughs> Yeah. This glitch is going to be how to get the boxing gloves for free before they even come out the game. So first things first, the first things you're going to need for this video is two controls, of course. We're going to be doing the screen, UI screen, whatever you want to call that, stacking on top of each other. We're going to be doing that so you need two accounts, two controllers. One of them has to be Xbox Live, which is, of course, your main account. And then you also need to have played campaign at least one, two, something amount of times where you level up. I don't know which account you need to actually play campaign on, but I play campaign on my main account and it worked. So let's get into this. So first, you would just want to go to the start screen of Black Ops 3. The start screen is the start screen that says bottom left hand corner, press A to start, and bottom right hand corner, you see your gamer tag. Mine says sign in to Golden JYT. That's going to be my dummy account that I am using, which is going to be controller one. And this controller two is going to be my main account, which is Justin McNeil. So first, go on your dummy account, right? Make sure, make sure that it says bottom right hand corner, sign in to whatever your dummy account's gamer tag is. Make sure of that. So first, you're gonna press A. Once you press A, it's gonna load up. You're gonna see campaign, multiplayer, and zombies. You're gonna go into multiplayer. You're gonna go to custom games. If anybody doesn't know how to actually do UI stack glitch, this glitch was the glitch that everybody used to get DLC weapons for free in the past. They patched it now, but now there's a new way to do it. But you do need a friend. And today I'm gonna be using Dion as a friend. Everybody say hey to Dion. Dion say hey. Dion, yeah, Dion. <laughs> All right, so. Dion. Your there best you go. friend. <laughs> That's me. Alright, so make sure that your friend is in a plug -in lobby just like the one that's on screen right now. Make sure your friend is in a nice no, up. Make sure your friend is in a plug -in lobby <laughs> just like this. So go to custom games on your um, secondary account, primary controller, secondary account. And now you're gonna add your main account right there. You see? Now Golden JYT is the host of the lobby and Justin McNeil is uh joiner whatever you call those people who aren't the host of the lobby. With the join account with my Justin McNeil controller, I'm gonna go to setup game, edit game rules, go down to create a class, edit precinct classes, and you're just gonna choose any class that you want. It doesn't matter what class it is, you could just choose any class of that nature. You're gonna clear everything out of the class, alright? Next you're gonna go to perk one. You're gonna go to afterburner, you're gonna hover over afterburner. Now, it's the tricky part. With your dummy account controller, you can't see it on screen right now. It's because I'm live streaming, but just listen to my voice because I know it's an amazing voice. So, you're going to double tap on the home button. That should pop up your friends list or the, the second thing, screen, whatever thing that pops up. It's pop up your friends list or whatever. Whatever pops up for you, just go to your friends list. Now, go to your friend that's supposed to be in the multiplayer lobby and go to play. He should be an end game and you should be able to join his game with your dumb account. So same thing as the other UI stack screen glitch, whatever you want to call it. Once you press join game, you're going to go on your main account controller. You're going to spam A rapidly. Just spam. Blah, 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 just like that. All right. So I'm going to do it right now. First time I did this glitch, it took me about 20 tries. So let's hope that we get on the first try. So join game, spam A. Wow, look at that. First try. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Once you're at your first try, you're going to go to your secondary or your dummy account or your first controller. The one you see in the left-hand corner, you see the little orange uh, hover bar that you can click on, whatever. That's the controller you want to be on. You see, I'm moving it up and now. That's the controller you want to be on. So you're going to back out of your friend's lobby now. It should say leave party, leave lobby and party. You press A on that. It's not actually going to leave the party. Well, it is going to leave the party, but your, um, your main account should still be linked to the host of the lobby. Once your main account is linked to the host of the lobby, this is when you want to go back on to your primary controller, your main account, and you want to go press B, and it's just show all of your custom classes. You see, I have the prize fighters right here. So you're just going to choose a random class. It doesn't matter what class that you choose. The prize fighters to be on. I am going to choose this one that I have the peacekeeper on because I already got a peacekeeper class. So you just want to clear everything out of there. You're going to go to primary and you're going to hover over the CUDA. Make sure you're hovering over the CUDA. Now, it's going to be a little bit tricky to see, but on your dummy account, you're going to go to campaign. 
I'm going to tell you what buttons to press and you just got to follow along with me. So you're going to press B one time. Once you press B, it should be at the screen that says uh, Play Match or uh, it shouldn't say custom, it shouldn't say creative class, it should say custom games, theater, stuff like that. You're going to press B again. Now you're at the screen that says uh, Campaign Multiplayer Zombies. You're going to go up one time, press A, and now you should be at the career, not career, the campaign screen. Once you're at the campaign screen, as you can see right there, I have the Pharaoh right here, and it's unlocked. That means I can use an unlock token to unlock the Pharaoh. For you, it might not be the Pharaoh. It might be the Vesper Weaver. It might be any of the submachine guns. Just go to one of them. Now, you're going to go to that um, the weapon that was unlocked. For me, it's going to be Pharaoh. So I'm going to go to the Pharaoh. I'm going to press A on the Pharaoh, and the screen should pop up. Unlock, unlock and equip, cancel, unlock. You need to hover over unlock. Here comes tricky part number two. That's really hard to see. Okay, here we go. So, secondary controller. Secondary controller, second account. We're at the campaign menu. We're going to press B one time. Now we should be at the menu that says career, multiplayer, zombies. You're going to go down to multiplayer. Press A on multiplayer. Now we're at multiplayer. You're going to press A again, so then you'll be at the public match menu. You're going to press A one more time, and you should see a screen that pops up. For me, it was custom games, uh, edit game rules, set up bots. That means we need to go B one more time so we can get out of custom games. Go up, press A. Now it should be in plug match. If it's not in plug match, just press B again. Go up, press A. Go up, press A until you get the plug match. Now, you know when you're at the plug match is when you press A, and it goes to the playlist screen that says core hardcore bonus. You don't want to be in that playlist screen. Once you're here at the playlist screen, press B. You're going to go down one time, and you're going to go to create class for your dummy account. It doesn't matter what class you choose here. I'm just going to choose the first one because the first one looks awesome. So once you choose the first one, you want to go to secondary. Then you want to go to melee. And now you see combat knife. You're going to see um, the prize fighters. And then you're going to see a bunch of unlocked or locked crypto key, uh, whatever. DLC weapons. Also, one thing that I forgot to mention, if you have more than six melee weapons that you got out of supply, drop. Sorry, you can't do this. If you do, then it won't work. But if you have less than six, hooray, you're doing it right. So, you're going to go to one of these that's not the prize fighters. Make sure you're not hovering over the prize fighter. I'm going to hover over the one below it because previously I hovered over the one below it and it worked. So, you're going to go back on your main account, the one that's controlling unlock, unlock and equip, cancel to unlock. You're going to go press unlock. Once you press unlock, you're just going to go up and down, and then you'll see a bunch of DLC weapons. If you want any of these DLC weapons, press A, and you can get them all. MVP, whatever, whichever ones you want. But for me, I'm going to choose the prize fighters because I think the prize fighters is probably the best melee weapon out there. You're going to press A on the prize fighters, and there you go. You're done with the glitch. Now, for people who's asking how did I get the dark matter, on the other hand, before I did this glitch, I had Dark Matter. After I did this glitch, I had probably 75 kills with the prize fighter. So, of course, I couldn't have Dark Matter with him. I didn't even have gold, diamond. I didn't have a lot of stuff unlocked. But when I press the Y I'm on my screen right now, you'll see that I have everything unlocked because I've been using my lock. I actually, you know, got diamond and gold legit. But before, I was only at, like, snow job and heat, um, heat stroke. When I scrolled all the way down, Dark Matter was unlocked. I don't know how, I don't know why it was unlocked, but trust me on this, it was unlocked. I wanted to see it gold, that's why I kept using them, because I wanted to see them gold. Gold looks amazing, as you see on the stream right now. But Dark Matter was automatically unlocked for me. But, that's all for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, subscription. If you didn't enjoy, please leave a dislike, and I don't like you, but still. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace. Bye.